OK, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to format a table of contents. Now, there are various methods you can use to achieve this, but I'm going to show you my preferred method. Now on the Home tab of your ribbon, you need to go over to the Styles group and click on this little button here. That's going to open up the Styles pane on the right of your screen. Now in this Styles pane, you want to look for these styles, the TOC styles. These styles are being used to format the different parts of your table of contents. Now, if I change the formatting settings for the top one style, that's going to change the look of the main headings in my table of contents. Let's see if that works. So to modify this style, what you do is you go to this little drop down next to it, and then you go to modify. Now I'm going to keep the font as it is, but I am going to change the size of those headings in the table of contents, taking it up to 18, and I'm going to make the entries bold. So if I now click on OK, you can see it's made that change to all those main headings in my table of contents. So now I'm going to do the same thing to talk to. So I'm going to modify that style. I'm going to change the font size to 14. Click on OK, and that's changed that level of heading. So I've got one more level left, which is formatted by the top three style. So I'm going to modify that. I'm just going to make those entries italicized. So you can see how to change the look of the entries within the table of contents. Now, another thing you might want to do is change the spacing between the entries in your table of contents. So what I'm going to do is increase the spacing above each of these main headings. So I've got to go back to top one, and I go to modify, and I go down to format at the bottom here, and then to paragraph. So what I can do is use the spacing options. I want to increase the space before these headings. So I'm going to take it up to 18 points. Click on OK, and then on OK again. And you can see now it creates more space above those main headings. Now I want to decrease the spacing between the top three headings. So I'm going to go to the top three style. I'm going to go to modify, then to format, then to paragraph. So I'm going to change this spacing after setting. I'm going to decrease it down to two points. Then I'm going to click on OK and on OK again. And you can see it's decreased the spacing between that level of headings. So the small changes that I'm making, but ultimately those changes do make a difference to the look of the table of contents. OK, so what about the indentation settings on these headings? Let's look at the indentation setting for top level two. So we go to modify, format, and then paragraph. And here are your indentation settings. So I'm going to increase the left indentation to 0.8. Click on OK, and then on OK again. So now let's modify the indentations for the top three level style. Format, paragraph and we'll set this to 1.3. Again, this makes the table of contents easier to read. Now, I was quite happy with the indentations that were already there, so I'll just undo those changes. Now, if you want to change the look of the heading above the table of contents, where it says table of contents here, that has its own special style. So if I click into that heading, you can see down here it's selected this style, top heading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this style. And I'm going to take the font size up to 22 and make it bold. Click on OK. And you can see it makes that change to the heading. Now, if you want to make changes to these dots within the table of contents, you use a different method. What you've got to do is click somewhere in your table of contents. Go to the References tab on your ribbon, Table of Contents, Custom Table of Contents at the bottom there, and you change what's called the Tab Leader setting. So if I go to the drop down here, 
I could choose none or I could use a dashed line rather than a dotted line. Let's see what that looks like. Now it's done it, but what you can see is that the entries within the table of contents have changed. Now we didn't want that to happen, but to get around it, you've got to go back to table of contents and then custom table of contents and go down to this options button. Now what it's done is it's reassigned top levels to these heading styles. Originally, I didn't have any top level assigned to heading one. So I'm going to take that top level out. Heading two was assigned to top level one, heading three to top level two, and heading four to top level three. So if I click on OK, I'll make this change again. So I'm getting dashed lines rather than dotted lines. Click on OK, and then yes, and I'm back to what I want, but with the new dashed lines rather than dotted lines. Now, the other thing you might want to do is change the width of the table of contents. Now, to achieve this, you've got to be able to see the ruler at the top of your document. And if you can't see it, go to View and then tick this option, Ruler. Then what you want to do is select your table of contents. And you should see this little character called a right tab on the ruler the right side of the ruler. Now what you want to do is drag that tab to the left to get to the desired width for your table of contents. Just be careful when you do this that you give enough room for the widest entry in your table of contents, otherwise you'll get this effect. So I'll drag it out to about 13. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.